Hello, welcome to another One Shoot Wednesday, and this is actually a one shot Wednesday because there is really only one shot. Um, this is St Mary's Church in the East Somerton in Norfolk, and this is a witch's leg. This goes miles up. Apparently there was a witch who was buried here, and this is her wooden leg that grows up through the church. And if you go round, I read somewhere online, if you go... Oh, crows. If you go round three times, I think it's really unlucky you get cursed. But you can't get round anyway because it's all private property. Maybe that's just as well. Um, I think the perfect shot is a sunset or the sunrise with the um, light coming through that church. But this is kind of 11 o'clock in, in the morning. We just move it. I'm moving between one shot and another. thought I'd come and shoot it. But I'm going to shoot this with a little difference because I'm going to shoot it with this. This is a, an infrared camera, or oh, actually, it wasn't originally, it's been converted to infrared. It kind of feels like it suits the mood. It's a Nikon D5000, which was first made in 2010, and I had a D3, Canon 350D at that point, I think, and I loved it. But, I mean, heck, it's difficult to use. So, if we have live view on, and there is a live view on it, None of the screen works, look, so I'm used to that. Um, live view is kind of good, but you can't take a picture because it's in live view. So you can use live view. Um, you've got one focus point, the looks of it, maybe three, but we're really lucky. Um, this is not easy to use either, but that's where we're kind of focusing, and that's all right. I'm happy with that because it's got a bit of depth of field. I'm having, to, ooh, I'm having to use f8 because if you don't use f8, you get sometimes get sunspots with infrared lenses that don't suit infrared. So um, f8 is recommended, and I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to bracket. I've split it onto manual. Now a two-second timer would be, would be really nice because this is quite high, and it has got one but it doesn't remember it. So you shoot it, then you have to reset it. And this is how you do it. You have to go, <laughs> it's taken me a while to work this out. Well, actually, Gary's given me some, give me some advice, it's Gary's camera. So press that. We then go okay there. We then go down to two seconds. We press okay. That's now set. I can now take the picture. Um, but look how wobbly it is. We do need it. There's the picture. But also those sensors in the back in the old days, 2010, that makes me feel very old, weren't the best because the highlights got very plasticky and there's no dynamic range to speak of. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna bracket this. I've gone 13th of a second. This correct exposure is around about an eighth, so we're gonna also gonna do something around a fifth. But again, live view set. I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually, I'm, hmm, that's okay, I, I, to, to change that from two seconds to ten, I'd have to go back into another menu. So let's assume the two seconds is going to be okay, and that will hopefully remember that, will it? Yes. Okay, so I've got three exposures there, I hope, in focus. Um, I'm now going to put them together, maybe an HDR, we'll see what they look like, because it's completely unknown. I've no idea what the files are going to look like. Um, very much like my new film on and going, oh, I didn't wind it on enough. Um, but this is a lovely image, hopefully. Uh, I'll tell you about what I've done with it and I'll put it on the screen. Now, thanks ever so much for tuning in. See you Sunday.